When we're helping someone to um, achieve their goals, when a drugs worker is helping a client to achieve the goals that they have for their own drug use, um, the earlier sessions really are very much about sort of the welcome, but also getting a history. You don't really know how how successful a person can be in achieving their goals in the coming week unless you know how successful or unsuccessful they've been in the past weeks. So the history is a really, really important part of it. Um, questions I might ask would be, how frequently are you using chems? Let's say in the last six months, just give me a rough idea. Is it every week? Is it once a month? Um, um, if it's a person that only uses once a month and they used last week, that means they're probably going to be safe for a few weeks because everyone has a cycle. People very much use it on a cycle. So that means that um, the conversations you have this week and next week and the week after aren't too urgent. You can do some, you know, they're, they're pretty safe from using. But it means that you have to develop a plan that goes beyond one month or two months because they're only using once a month. So if a person is using every week, then you have to prepare them very quickly because they're probably likely to use again within the next seven days. So it's much more urgent. So getting a person's, uh, yeah, how frequently are you using in the last six months, just getting an idea of what the usual cycle is. It's one of the first important things. Um, we need to know what the better sessions are. So uh, I would ask, do your sessions usually last for a couple of days or do you just use um, G to do some to, do, to have some sex for a couple of hours and then it's all over and you never miss a night's sleep. So understanding the most common type of chem sex is two or three days, you know, usually because of methamphetamine and G mixed together. And then they sort of will sleep after that and have a week or two before they do it again. So that's kind of typical. But of course, some people um, are only using uh, are using meth every single day which is beyond chemsex, and it makes a drugs worker's job a lot more complicated in that situation. But it might be uh, that they are just using uh, um, meth for a 12-hour session once in a while and taking a sleeping pill to get sleep that night, and they're not really missing any days of work or not missing any sleep. So getting a person's history of how frequently they use and their context of use is really important too. Um, have they used in the last seven days? That's really important. You have to know if the person sitting in front of you is devastated and exhausted and frightened and very motivated to never do this again, which is quite often how people feel in the days after. Um, and perhaps they feel less so after two weeks. So uh, if a person is used within the last seven days, then you know that you're dealing with a person who is um, in, the, in the wake of, of quite an experience, so there might have been some trauma there too. So we it, we need to be cautious about how we, how we treat that person. That person might be um, carrying some trauma, something awful might have happened. They might be very, very, very motivated to never use, but they might not feel that way in a week or two's time. So we've got to really understand you know, the headspace of the person who's sitting in front of us and how, free, how recently they used. So we know how, um, how gently or not to treat them. Sometimes drugs work is about sort of um, laying out some truths or being really uh, challenging, sort of challenging a person on their behavior. But you don't want to challenge a person too heavily if they use the last week because they're going to be very fragile. So that's why it's really kind of an important part of the history we want to get. Um, a really important question is the last time you used, was it planned or was it unplanned? You know, was it impromptu in the moment or was it something you'd thought about and you wanted to happen? Because this question is helps you to determine if a person is using despite themselves or if they're in control of the use. A person who goes, yeah, I used last weekend and I, it was planned. I meant to. It was something I was expecting to do. I bought the drugs in advance. It's like, okay, that's good to know. But if a person uh, used last week and I didn't mean to, I wanted to go to my mum's wedding, but I did it again and it just happened in the moment. Then you're getting an understanding of how a person manages that decision-making moment about doing drugs. Is it something that happens in a moment born of cravings and heightened emotions um, or sudden temptation without thinking about tomorrow or last week? Or is it something that they are planning to do? Usually if a person is planning to do it and they're planning in advance, it's probably it might be easier to work with them. They might be a person that can choose when to do drugs and when not to. And helping them achieve their goals can be a lot easier than someone who uses even when they plan not to. So it's a really important question. You know, was your last use planned or unplanned? Was it impromptu or was it considered in advance? Um, and 
in the last, let's say, 10 times you used, how many of them were planned or unplanned. So you're getting an idea of the pattern, like nearly all the times they use, it's not planned and it just happens to them and they need help managing those moments. Or if most of the times it's always planned. Sometimes a person who has used the last 10 times and it was planned in advance, it was not a mistake, but they do want to make changes, but they've just never tried to have a weekend off before. So sometimes saying, making a, a goal, I will not use this weekend and saying it out loud to a drugs worker for the first time. It's the first time they've ever really tried, like as an experiment, I don't know if I can say no and, and stick to it. So sometimes the the first sessions with a drugs worker is just like an experiment of somebody learning, do I have control or do I not? Um, do you plan to use in the next seven days is a question I always ask uh, because it's always their choice. Uh, if they are planning to use in the next seven days, say, okay, how can I help you? Do you want me to help you be safer in that moment? Do you, um, why are you here? Why have you come to see a drugs worker if you plan to use drugs? Maybe it's because you want some harm reduction information. Maybe um, it's because they do plan to use, but somewhere inside they sort of think that it's happening too frequently. And so they've come to see a safe person to have that explorative, exploratory sort of conversation. But I do plan to use, but I'm starting to question about whether that's happening too frequently or not. So they're not identifying a goal. They're not ready to make any changes, but they want to have the exploration with you. That can be helpful. It's really important that we don't become complicit in an ongoing cycle of engaging in drug use support that doesn't have any goal. Um, if a person can justify their own use, even though they're, because they might be frightened to stop or don't feel they've got the skills to stop and they're just very ambivalent about that and they're really frightened of what life would be like without drugs and rather than committing to do it and they, they can just stay in a cycle of I'm continuing to do drugs but I'm seeing a drugs worker so everything's okay. So it's our job to be challenging and help people to think outside the boxes. We don't want people to be making choices because they're frightened or to can stay in a drug using cycle just because they're frightened of stopping or don't feel they would have a life without it or a sex life without it. Um, so do you want to try one week without chems? I will always suggest an experiment. If someone's not sure why they're here and they're not sure what their goal is, but they are sitting in front of them, this is quite often. I think a lot of drugs workers find themselves sitting in front of people who don't know why they are there. Um, and so we can always just, well, when was the last time you had a break? When was the last time you chose to not do drugs and you realized, oh, I can do this? That's a really important lesson to learn, to know that if I choose to do drugs, um, sorry, if I choose to not do drugs this weekend, I know I won't do drugs. I'm confident with that. That's a great goal. Some people can't do that. Some people have never even tried it. So one thing a drugs worker can do is always sort of suggest an experiment. Do you want to try a month without drugs just to see whether you can or whether you can't? Um, some people do that and they realize they can very successfully not do drugs for months and that's good they don't need a drugs worker it's good to check in with a drugs worker a while just to check in once in a while sometimes people realize I try to not do drugs for a month but I can't I keep on using a week three and okay is that something you want to change Do you want to learn some skills to achieve your month use your, your goal for one month because I can work with you and help you achieve those goals um, if a person then does identify a goal, good, because it's really important. A drugs worker needs a goal. You know, it, the, the ambivalence and denial that goes with drug use can mean people can avoid identifying a goal. And that can keep them in, a, in an upsetting using cycle without any accomplishment for a long, long time, which can be very frightening for a person. Sometimes that's why they've come to see a drugs worker. So if a person has identified a goal, I do want to try one month without drugs just to learn to see whether I can achieve it or not. And I want to learn the skills of craving management and, and go through this journey with you. Good, okay. How important is it to you to do this? If it's not important to you, if you're just doing it for fun or because I suggested it, it's not right. Goals only become accomplished if they're really important to us. If it's not important to you, none of this will work. So very early on in this session, it's when you've got a goal, how important is it to you? Tell me why it is important to you. And if it's not important to you, then I don't understand why you are here. 
Um, and it's okay to release someone from the responsibility of being with you um, if, if it's not important for them to be there. Sometimes people do sit in front of a drugs worker because the doctor suggested it, because their boyfriend suggested it, because their mum suggested it. And no matter how much even we might think they could use a break from drugs, it's not going to work unless it's important to them. So one of the most important early questions is, how important is it to you to do this, to accomplish this goal? And if it is important to them, great. Um, the next question would be, um, how confident are you you can do it? Because if they say, I'm 10 out of 10, I'm quite sure I can do it. Cool, there's no urgency for me to see you again really, really quickly. But if a person says, two out of 10, I'm really not confident I can do this. I'm quite sure that um, my goal is one week. Sorry, my goal was one month not using. So go, like, if you're very confident, good, I'll see you in three weeks time. But if I say, do you want to try a month without drugs? It's important to you, good. How confident are you you can do it? Only two out of 10, I'm not very confident. And I say, well, I should see you next week then. I shouldn't wait three weeks, I should see you soon because you're not very confident and I've got to work harder to give you the skills of managing cravings. And that's basically what drugs work is. It's sort of um, helping a person identify a goal to get some control back over the choice they're making around drugs and give them the skills to accomplish that goal. And that comes from a series of questions. So very quickly to finish, I'll go through these questions, which would be, how frequently are you using chems? Um, are there sessions that last a couple of days? Or, you know, what's the context of it? Have you used in the last seven days? Would you say that was planned or unplanned? Was it impromptu or sudden? Or, or was it planned in advance? Um, do you plan to use in the next seven days? Would you like to try an experiment, maybe seven days, maybe a month of no drugs? I can help you achieve that if you want, if it was important to you. How important is it to you? Um, and how confident are you can achieve this so I can decide how urgently I need to um, help you and give you some skills at craving management? That's it. That's kind of uh, a one-on-one -on -one drugs work. That's the, that's the mini version. Um, and in another video, I'll be talking more about the, the more complex uh, conversations we can have around the adjacent issues to do with that.